What's up, YouTube? Oh, today is a, another day in the bus. So, we've already showed earlier in some earlier videos the, the uh, insulating the skylights. And the really great thing about it is when we were putting them in, we were in creative mode and we were like, oh, let's radius the corners and let's do this and that. That will be so cool. And it is. I love it. But it has created a bit of a challenge on how to insulate it and attach the insulation up to the ceiling around those skylights and how to finish that insulation. So, so what we've come up with is using these connector nuts, which is what that is. So it's a long, deep nut. And what we can do with those is we got the studs that come through um, from the sheet metal work that we did. We can screw that connector nut on there, like that, push the insulation up, and then put a nut back through this way to anchor that insulation up there. So that, that solved how we're gonna get it anchored up there where we can't connect to the wood frame or what have you. Second challenge was what kind of finish can we put on it? What do we need to do? We thought about upholstering it um, fiberglassing. Yeah, we, we were going to fiberglass it. We were going to put, we were going to tear up mats and we were going to make torn mat decoupage on it and then put clear fiberglass or Maj Paj or, we had a lot of different ideas and, uh, but the one that we settled on was to paint it, texture it, and make it look like the walls are going to look. Because just fitting the front two up there was, the, that, it's quite a task. Um, we took one of the cutouts from that and we sampled the texturing and the paint on it. So we've had it done for a couple of weeks and messed around with it. And it seems to be like it's going to be pretty durable and we're able to cover up all the little defects with the spackling compound. It stuck well to the primer. So that's what we're going to do. So once we knew how to get them up there, the next problem become how are we going to trim around that? So that's what I'm, that's where I'm at right now. So, there's the sample, and down here, I did this on purpose, I mean, th this was from when we cut it out originally, but I tried spackling that and patching it, and that did not work. So, where everywhere I go, there was, there was lines across this, there was dents and divots, and we, we primered it first, we put on spackling compound, sanded it, primered it again, textured it with spray can texture, and then put a top coat on it. And I mean, it, it feels pretty good. So that's what we're gonna do to those pieces. Then the problem becomes, how do we trim between here and there, and here and there? <laughs> so I got the middle piece in here. I just bent a piece of sheet metal. And uh, so I have that in the center. I have them on the sides. I just about have this one done. And then uh, the other part of that is we're gonna hook uh, reflect, Reflectix Mylar up here for sunscreens. And we wanted this metal to be able to hook it up with magnets. So these will just get painted white and then we'll have the white textured insulation. And that's where we're at. This is the piece we're over here. <laughs> One of the cool things is it's kind of hard to line up those holes. But when you miss it, you can take your drill and just tip it back and forth and elongate your holes, so. <laughs> so check it out, guys. Randy is getting this figured out. Well, I got, I got one side done. Yeah, look at what he just concocted for us. So I just need to do a little trimming here. And I got the other side I cut at the same time, so I can go match the bend on it. I'll do a little bit of trim there. And I, I think we can shoot that full of foam when we do the foam. I know, that is like... I don't know, all these sequences, but... Yeah, so I'm going to go try to... Bend do, the other do one? Do it again. All right. You can do you it. You can do it, baby. You I can have, do it. I have Okay guys, he's got the second one done. 
and it is a perfect fit. Well, no, I, I was fixing to cut them off and make them try to Line be up. a butt joint, but if I let it overlap and I just put a screw here on each side, it'll be a real nice clean joint. So awesome looking. That looks good to me. Yeah. Oh, that looks so cool all trimmed in. Just got that down there. I don't know how to do that. Another puzzle piece to solve. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta love the bus life. Showing you painting. There's her serious painting face. Look up with her serious painting face. Oh yeah, I see it. Oh, that's good. The last piece going up. Oh. So last time that these went up, they overlapped just they a didn't, little. They didn't close up up there. And then I had trouble with that one being galvanized, so I had to remake it. And then I had trouble with the one I remade taking the paint, so I still got to take it back down and fix it. Oh, yeah, but I rebent them. See, they're pulling right up there. Oh, yeah. Coolio, coolio. So last time I had to put that tech screw in there to pull it up, but I think this is going to suck it right up there. Oh, yeah, perfect. Look at that. That's great. Nice. Okay, guys, I got them back up there. And I'm going to have to touch up this paint later, but that's okay. But uh, that's a tricky situation, so I'm quite happy that we've got it all back up there and in place. It doesn't, it's not, you know, I don't like that gap so much, but hey, I can live with it. So it's a solution to how to trim that all out. I think when everything else is done, it's gonna look pretty cool. I might go back in here and, and uh, finish this with white silicone, cover it up, but that'll be another job. So, if you put skylights in like this, this might help you out, but I don't think anybody else is gonna do it like this, so this is how we did it. I love it. I love the, the texture came out great. It does. It just looks like a, a heavy texture in the house. So I think that came out pretty awesome. Anyhow, that's what we did. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you have lots of love in your life. Thanks for watching.